Hello everyone and welcome to Channel Holdings E3 coverage week. Today we're going to be talking about Ubisoft and EA. Yeah, the big third party teams. Yeah. Yeah. Or we're going to discuss you know, all the awesome little tidbits and funny anecdotes that they had. <laughs> And, you know, Aisha Tyler. Yeah. What else? <laughs> um, I mean, I suppose we're going to talk about video games, I guess, maybe. I mean, yeah, we should probably talk about the video games. Like, I, I suppose, I guess. I mean, that may or may not be something we do. Mm-hmm. But only once in a while. Right. I mean, they're not that important. And, it's sort of segueing into this, uh, <laughs> EA... We could talk about a couple of the games, but, um... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so EA... Uh-huh. They started out super strong. Right. They started with my most anticipated EA game. Okay. Which would be, uh... Oh, God. Mass Effect Andromeda. Nice. Formerly Mass Effect 4. Right. It looks super awesome. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, people at home. Uh-huh. <laughs> It looks really good. Yeah. The trailer looked amazing. Mm-hmm. It's probably one of the best trailers I've seen for a while. Oh, yeah. No, it was super cool looking. Oh, yeah. But that's all they showed. Yeah. It was a trailer. What they do after the trailer? Absolutely nothing. Right. It was like, all right. I don't think they even said, like, what it was. They just showed the trailer and moved on, right? Uh, they showed the trailer. They after the trailer it had the name uh -huh. which what was renamed to which Red. was Mass Effect Andromeda uh -huh. and that was it and they moved on like nothing happened. All right. They didn't, you know, say hey, we're doing you know hey we're working on it. Uh huh. Hey we're doing this. Uh huh. Or anything. It was just all right, moving on, buddy. I was like, wait, that's like one of your biggest properties. Right. Yeah. It it might be their best selling thing. Besides, exactly. And well, one of their best. Well, yeah, alright, we can't discount... Sports games. Sports games. Yeah. Which they covered a lot. Right. And that was, like, their main thing. Mm-hmm. Except for their real main thing. Okay. Which was Battlefront. Right, which, throughout the whole conference, down at the bottom of the screen, they're like, guys, guess what? Battlefront. Like, 15 more minutes, just wait. It, it was, for me, I actually really didn't like that at all. Yeah. It felt like even they knew nothing was as important as Battlefront. Yeah. Like, literally their entire thing was, all right, hey, it's Battlefront time. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, Battlefront coming soon. It's like, you know, your, your other games are important. Right, your other, like, you have some really good properties. Yeah, like... Um, Mirror's Edge. Mm -hmm. It had a small, like, gameplay sort of teaser. Not really a trailer. Right. And then they had a cinematic trailer. Uh-huh. And that was it. I mean, they said, yeah, hey, we're working on it, and it's important to us. It's not nearly as important as all the other things. Right. But, I mean, it is important. Mm-hmm. And that was pretty much it. So, they, like, they started really high, and then... It was just a whole lot of low. Yeah. And then, you know, it ended super high as well. Right, because they, they came back to Battlefront, which is what, you know... We, uh, we wanted. Right, and they <laughs> showed it to us, and it was awesome. Yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed what I saw at Battlefront. Yeah. It was it was really cool. Like, I, I am excited for that game. Oh, yeah, Battlefront looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Everything about it. Especially that 4K stuff we saw <laughs> at the PC one. Yeah. Um, no, Battlefront looks amazing. It looks really fun. I, I pretty much see nothing wrong with it. Right. Uh, the only thing I'm I'm not a fan of, but I'm not I've never been a fan of this. Okay. Is playing as the heroes. Okay. I I personally am just not a fan of that in the game. Okay. But other than that, like, everything looks really great. Right. Yeah, no, it's it, it looks like exactly what everyone's wanted. What we have been wanting. Right. It's just it took them until the end of the conference to show us that, and in general, the conference didn't have a whole lot of other that at least was kept us interesting. Exactly. Like, 
I'm I'm sure it again like their conference is their best example of it is not for consumers. Right. It is for the people at Walmart. Uh huh. For the businessmen of Target. Yep. Of you know maybe the businessmen of oh well, let's see Kmart. Sure. If that's still around where right. you are. Yeah, yeah. It, it's for them to know. All right, these are the big games that are going to be selling. Right, and this here's the ones you need to mean. look and out here, for. Exactly, and that's who it's for. But at the same time, it is streamed to millions of people. Right. And it was just, and I mean, their larger demographic is the sports games. Right. And then Mass Effect. Mm -hmm. And Battlefront. Correct. And Battlefront is going to sell a bajillion copies because it was at every conference. But Nintendo's pretty much and Ubisoft's. Right. But everyone mentioned, guys, we're gonna have Battlefront. I know everyone's like, we're gonna have Battlefront. We have the Battlefront here. Right. And we're all super excited. I think it was like that, mostly just because everyone in the industry is super excited for Battlefront. Right. For sure. So, yeah. I mean, EA's overall pretty disappointing and pretty boring. Right. E except for, you know, the whole Battlefront thing. Right. The, and, the, and the Mass Effect thing. Right. The few high points they had were really high. Oh, yeah. They were some of the best parts. It's just that they didn't... Unlike with... Uh, yeah. 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 Yep. Exactly. And, you know, hopefully it, it'll get better. Uh-huh. And we're gonna have Battlefront soon. Yeah. This is going to be super exciting. Heck yeah, it is. I'm super excited about it. Mm-hmm. That's going to be that. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, what about Ubisoft's conference? Ooh, Ubisoft. They were funny. Yes. <laughs> yep. They did some uh, They did some fun stuff with it. Oh, yeah. Like, they, out of all, the, aside from Nintendo, Right. I feel they're one of the few who are like, guys... We make video games for a living. Right. Why are people taking this super seriously? Right, like, they know, like, hey, you know, like, this is a business, yes, and we need to say certain things, but yeah, also we, we can have, have fun money. with it. Exactly, which is why they have Aisha Tyler. Right, who has once again been a fantastic host. Oh, yeah, she's always probably the best host. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to finish that game. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, like, it was just a lot of fun. They had a lot of really great games. Yeah, for sure. Like, um, oh god, The Division. Oh yeah. Looks amazing. Mm-hmm. It, ah, oh, man. It has probably the most realistic scenario of actually happening in a game. Right, in like... And a, in real life. Yeah, yeah. Where they had, you know, the team showed up, uh -huh. and then another team showed up, and they both stopped and just stared at each other for a little bit, like, yeah. are they gonna kill us? <laughs> are we gonna kill them? Uh-huh. What's going on? Like, what do, what do we do with this? Yeah. And it's like, alright, well, we kind of have to go for our objective now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's go do that. And then, you know, and then they did it, uh -huh. and they helped them through the whole thing. Yeah. And then at the very end, it's just like, hey guys, let's kill them and take their loot. Yeah. You know, what we thought they would do to us. Uh-huh. So they killed them, but you know, it didn't end horribly well for them. Right. And then someone on their own team was like, I can get the loot. <laughs> He's like, I could have everything. <laughs> so he murdered the team and took everything and then just left. Mm-hmm. I was like, that is one of the most realistic things I could ever see happening. Right, yeah, I'm like, that's that's what players will do. Yeah, they will. They are aware. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, they also had a really nice Assassin's Creed. Right, yeah, no, it was really cool to see more of that. Oh, yeah, like seeing more of that London era area, mm -hmm. you know, the Industrial Revolution looks really fun. Right. Uh, the fact that you can now play as a female protagonist in the main game. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, they haven't really had that before except for Liberation. Right. Which was not a core game. Right, it, was, it wasn't one of their core flagship titles. No, just one of their silly side ones. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, I'm trying to think, what were some of the other like, really fun games? Um, I mean, I'm super excited for Rainbow Six. Which one? Uh, Rainbow Six. Siege. Siege? Okay, yeah. yeah. There's just the one coming out. That's right. There's only one Rainbow Six, but there's like three Tom Clancy games. Correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Rainbow Six Siege, I really liked that it wasn't just Hostage Rescue. 
Mm -hmm. For, For sure. sure. It was actually, like, bomb disposal. Yes. Which was something, like... Uh, hearing that, like, all of the other things we'd seen was all about, like, just hostage rescue. Yeah. So uh, it was a little concerning, like, is that, is that all this game is going to be? Exactly. And that's why I wasn't super thrilled about it. Because right. Because I don't like escort missions. Right. Especially when the other team is smart and can blow a hole in the roof and kill me. Correct. But, yeah, now that I know that there's, like, a single player and there's hostage, there's not just hostage rescue, mm -hmm. like, that really excites me. And that aim. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I got an assist. It's fine. Yep. It's good. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, since, you know, there are three, we said three Ghost Recon games. Not Ghost Recon. Tom Clancy. Tom Clancy for Ghost Recon. I spoiled the surprise. <laughs> Ghost Recon's another Tom Clancy game that yep. I'm also super excited about. It looks about. so good. Yeah. I really love the long range option. Mm -hmm. The like, all right, we have to take that guy out. There's a bunch of different ways we can do it. Right. I'm going to lay down in the grass and shoot him in the head. Yeah. Or we're just going to kill everyone in the facility but him <laughs> and have his boss come over and just beat him senseless. Yes. It was so good. It looked fun. It looked strong. Mm hmm. Oh, it was so good. Yeah. I'm also, like, a really big fan of, like, open world games. Oh, yeah. It's a complete open world. Right. Like, open world co op tactical shooter. That sounds amazing. That's, like, that is my game right there. That's, yeah. that's what I want so much. Oh, yeah. See, this is why we should get another capture card uh -huh. and another Xbox. <laughs> and two copies of the game and just like record co-op with that yeah no that would be pretty sick it would be so much fun uh, I'm super excited for a lot of Ubisoft's games yeah no the, I, I'm also really glad that there's so many Tom Clancy titles coming out yeah I like we didn't have one for a while right now we're getting three at once yeah which is gonna be pretty cool. It is, and I know Ubisoft's gotten a lot of flack recently. Uh huh. Over the, and by recently, I mean like three years. Right. Two years. <laughs> really, everything since uh, Black Flag. Uh huh. Especially started mostly with Watch Dogs. Right. But I mean, they've had their issues ever since. Yes. Before, I mean, they're Ubisoft. Yeah. It's just something we kind of expect from them. Uh huh. But I'm really hopeful for things that they're changing. And they're very self-aware. Mm. Like, how they were totally candid and fair and honest about the mistakes they made with Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah. They yeah, were yeah. totally open and candid about it, and they didn't hide anything. They were just like, yeah, we screwed up. We're sorry. And I think that's, like, super good and healthy for a game developer. Oh, yeah. And there were a lot of things where Ubisoft was just like, they were really healthy about what happened. They were really just, like, open with people. And it's like, you know what? We, we want to do better. Yeah. And so I'm really excited for Syndicate. Just because, you know, it's in London. Uh-huh. Victoria era. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, no, I think it's going to be awesome. Like, uh, yeah. The Assassin's Creed games have consistently been pretty high quality. And it looks like this one's going to be following that trend. Exactly. And then... So, one thing with E3 a lot of people were really scared about is there wouldn't be any new IPs. Right. Because, you know, it makes sense for a business to stick with what works. Right. But when you're a creator, you want to do something new, something fun. Correct. And there was one new IP that got you pretty excited. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For Honor? Oh, yeah. So, tell, tell the people, the ladies and gentlemen, about the For Honors. All right. So, basically, you say, all right, what if we took, like... Vikings, Samurai, and Knights. And we said, you know what? These are like three of the most archetypical kinds of warriors. Yeah, they are. And then we said, why don't we put them all in like a battle, right? Yeah. But let's make it a little bit like uh, chivalry or like uh, mountain blade. So like directional blocking and attacking is important. Oh, yeah. And some like Bushido blade in there too. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I love that they were just like, yeah, it's a lot like chivalry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were just open with it. It's like, you know what? This is chivalry. Oh, you just got beat to death. Yeah, I just got beat to death. That reminds me a lot of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I suppose it would. 
But yeah, like Fort Honor looks so good. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to run as a samurai and have like directional blocking with the katana. Oh yeah, and be able to take out knights and Vikings mm -hmm. with the superior weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And oh yeah, I'm I'm really excited to like try to get a group of people together and play through a couple games with that. Yeah, it'd be really nice. So for all of you out there. You want to play with us? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please we, do. We would totally be open to that. We will, you know, we will add you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What, was that uh, was for honor your game of Ubisoft show? Um, it was probably Ghost Recon. Yeah, Ghost Recon looks super good. But I'm like, I'm hesitant to get too hyped over it just because, unfortunately, in the past. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, in the past, Ubisoft has shown other Ghost Recon games that haven't been um, super great. Well, they just they haven't come out. Oh, like they've showed us Ghost Recon games in the past that they didn't release. That's true. And Even, they also showed us a Rainbow Six game that never came out. Right, exactly. So, like, I really, really am excited for these games, but I'm trying not to get like too too, too excited. Yeah, exactly. You just don't want to be you know disappointed like Nintendo. Right, that. <laughs> Or, you know, it just never come out. Yeah. And that that's something that's really sad for me. Oh, yeah? Is when there's a game I'm really excited for, but it just never comes out. Right. Where she's like, alright, this is gone. Like, um, the reason I bought a 3DS was Legend uh, Mega Man Legends 3. Right. And they were just like, alright, it's gone. Yeah. It's like, but this is the reason I bought this system. Mm hmm. And it's just, ah, oh, man. No, it's really upsetting when that happens. Like, the one Rainbow Six game yeah, that they showed where they were, like, they had the bomb on the bridge, and right. you gotta play through both perspectives. It looks so fun. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, nope, it's gone. That is now Rainbow Six Siege, but it's really not. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, Siege is still gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, but I, I still would prefer, like, like, I would like to have that experience as well. Exactly. But... Now we're not going to get one of those. Right. But you know what? We can still hope for Siege. They've given it a release date, <laughs> I think. Did they? I believe so, yes. Okay. I believe... They did They did give a release date for Division. Right. Which they is did. early next year. Nobody saw that coming. Yeah. I honestly thought it was going to be an early 2017 game. Right. I thought this... Yeah. Division, I also I thought, was just, like, probably yeah. not going to happen. Not just never going to come out. But uh, I'm excited to see that it is, and I think that's going to be a lot of fun as well. It really is. Aw, oh, man. Ubisoft, you did well. Mm-hmm. You had a good host. You didn't waste my time. Right. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. Any, any last comments on uh, EA or Ubisoft? Um... No, not not nothing in particular. All right, I got a couple things to say. Okay, go for it, man. EA, get your stuff together. Right. You showed what we wanted, and then you took it away, and you didn't even look at it uh -huh. or address it. That's like, you know, you go back to your high school reunion with a really hot girlfriend. Okay. And you're like, look, and then you just push her away and just keep talking about the other things. No, 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 that's not what we want. Mm. You know, you started strong, and you went down. Yes. Poor. Also, have some strength in your stuff. Right. If you don't believe in your products, we're not going to buy them. Yeah. If you're just going to be like, Battlefront. Battlefront's coming up, man. Mm-hmm. Like, you're in the middle of some of your games, and you'll see a little 15 minutes. We don't want that. We are already excited enough. Right. Just, you know, do your thing and be happy with it. Yeah. And Ubisoft keep at it. You're doing good. Mm -hmm. EA, take some tips. <laughs> they love. They believe in their products. And they have a host who can roll with anything. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> From, you know, laser tag to a man with salmon colored hair. <laughs> yes. Also, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you should really look up past Ubisoft conferences. Yeah, there's, there's some hidden gems in there. Oh yeah, there are. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes our talk of the conferences. Mm-hmm. Or, well, each video for the conferences. Tomorrow, we will be discussing our overall thoughts on E on all of them. Uh-huh. And even be ranking them and have a special little treat as well. Nice. All right, so we will see you all tomorrow.
Bye.